Hi you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, or Rising uh, for the weeks of March the 16th through the 31st, 2017. I've already shuffled and cut the cards, so let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank all of you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, I ask that all of you um, please continue to like, share, and subscribe. Um, also remember these are general readings. Um, so they may or may not resonate, but I hope they do. Um, oh, and also at the end of the reading, <clears throat> what I want to start doing now, uh, I've pulled one card already uh, from the Romance Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Um, and I have it sitting aside here. I haven't looked at it. So we'll go ahead and take a look after the reading. So for the heart of the situation, we have the Fool. Six of Cups. Hermit. Knight of Cups. Tower. And five of wands. <clears throat> so uh, with the heart of the matter being a fool, I feel like a new journey has begun. I feel as if you've let something go or let the past go. Um, I feel like you're feeling like a free spirit um, and just ready to take a chance on um, life or someone or um, a passion and <clears throat> excuse me also not only could this be you this could be someone I want to say free falling into your life uh, unexpectedly especially because the tower is right here from it um, <clears throat> excuse me so some someone may unexpectedly arrive or appear in your life uh, out of the blue uh, when you least expect it. Now also uh, we have with the Six of Cups I feel like someone from your past uh, has returned or will be returning and um, this is someone who uh, you could have gone to school with uh, like grammar school, high school or just someone from your neighborhood, someone that you've known for a while. Uh, if you haven't known this person since childhood, then um, this is someone who you just feel like a deep soul connection to, like you just want to share all of your secrets and you don't understand why. It's because you have some sort of uh, past life uh, link together. Um, you guys are both uh, very comfortable with one another. Um, this is like, um, also I feel like this friend has come to give you guidance or the reason this person has returned to your life is for uh, guidance or you have, this person is going to end up being like a spiritual guide for you or to help you learn something about yourself. There is something within uh, that you're you're learning you're researching you're trying to gain a sense of understanding this person may even lead you to go back to school um, but I, I feel more so this is something kind of uh, a spiritual path that you're on a spiritual journey um, and you're being guided um, you're learning something about your past life. You're learning something about your um, your family heritage, where you come from. <clears throat> you're also researching about soulmates. Some of you are doing like a lot of research about soulmates. So it could be that you're studying astrology and synastry charts or... Um, Vedic astrology or um, um, tarot because you're learning about some sort of secrets 
um I, I feel like you're really just studying i feel like you're both and then not only that i feel like this is but going both ways uh it's like little do you know someone is researching about you as well uh someone is thinking about you you're thinking about them they're thinking about you this is like um um a flow of energy going a synastry going between the two of you and because of that someone else kind of had this i feel like because you're telepathically connected they're going to return they're going this is why they've returned because you've called upon them spiritually or you know vice versa you know each other you guys there you both felt that so I do feel like there is going to be new love coming into your life. Someone's going to be uh, expressing how they feel about you. This person could be um, a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius, uh, or Virgo. Um, I feel like you're going to be really surprised when they tell you how they feel. I feel like it's unexpected. Maybe you weren't expecting someone to put you on the spot someone's going to put you on a spot you're going to be forced into some sort of uncomfortable situation there's a lot a lot of um tension uh with the two of you you might even have some sort of passionate heated argument or followed by passionate sex um but there is um there's definitely like a lot of uh, flames and, and passion between you and this uh, other person, but they're very romantic. Uh, this person, they could be in their 30s, if not, um, uh, like their 30s or late 20s. But if they're not, then um, this person is just very um, romantic to you or you're a very romantic person. Maybe this is you coming out to surprise someone with how you feel about them or to let them know that you've been thinking about them um i feel like someone's getting ready to cross that path someone's ready to cross over from friendship to relationship um i feel like someone's in their emotions um just kind of understanding why you have these feelings um you know just kind of getting an understanding of yourself now some of you may be dealing with someone that is older than you as well for some of you um might be attracted to someone who is very wise um for some of you i don't uh aside from attraction and stuff i had to say that because i felt like some something to say uncle so i don't know who your uncle is to you i don't know if you're through your uncle you meet your soulmate or um they have something to do with it or they teach you something about relationships or a childhood friend uh but i i kind of felt like it had something to do with uncle Oh my goodness, Libra. This Seven of Swords has come up, I think, for the past four readings. So that is still some sort of energy that is around you. Some sort of uh, deception. And... There's someone that is very jealous uh, someone who I feel like you're just walking away from you're just like letting them go you're like I don't have time for this and you're the part of the things that you're walking away from are like this petty behavior this for me is the card of petty uh, between both parties um, both people are doing things that causes some sort of distance, uh, tip for tap, you know, oh, you're going to do this. Well, I'm going to do this, uh, 
top this, top that. You know, it's like you guys are both competing in a nasty way. Like, but it's weird because you love one another, but you're not, you're expressing it in the wrong way. It's very immature and it's hurtful. Um, the game playing and it's on both ends. Um, now also this represents for me uh, some sort of third party that is jealous and waiting for your relationship to fail. This is someone who possibly caused it to fail. Someone who's like an instigator, someone who likes to come in, stir up trouble and then back away and kind of snicker off in a corner because everybody else is heated and um, you know, you're just back there thinking everything is funny like oh they fail for that but I, I feel like you're walking away from that that negative energy I just really feel like you're just starting over um, uh, because before you had been thinking a lot about uh, things that value things that matter most to you um, where do people fit in in your life you know and I feel at some point many of you may have felt like uh, walking away from uh, love all together, walking away from um, people who you keep uh, getting involved in who don't really mean anything to you. Um, I just feel like you're just kind of, I don't want to say fed up, but you're just like, you know, it is what it is and I'm not fighting anymore and you're just kind of um, ready to see where life takes you. Uh, with this whole uh, Seven of Swords thing. It's, it's still going to come out. I, I feel like this secret is going to come out. Now, it could be the fact that someone is in love with you. Maybe they hadn't told you the whole thing. Or maybe they've been acting, like I said, bizarre or acting, showing their love in, in odd ways. And so... like they're someone's trying to get away with something now also this could be you like you're not being 100% honest um, like you want someone to come after you or you're like leaving out clue you're playing dirty you're like leaving out little clues and seeing if anybody's gonna take the bait uh, seeing if someone's gonna pay attention to what you're doing um, you know trying to see if someone really cares um so you're doing things that's kind of immature uh kind of um um i don't know like I, you know you're just kind of on a playful level it's, it's kind of funny to you at some point i don't know but also there is some major shift coming um thing there's going to be some changes in uh, you have to be careful because you you could get whatever you ask for or whatever you put out could come back to you. Um, and this shift could come like once your menstrual begins, at the end of your menstrual, uh, or it's speaking about um, once we enter Aries or sometimes during that shift or at the end of the month or this weekend um, there's going to be a, a major change I feel like you're going to learn something about yourself and you're going to learn something about your soulmate you're going to come to some understanding and you may even learn that someone has been spying on you it doesn't um, or someone's going to learn that you have been spying on them it's going to come out again we have the six here that so it's kind of going both ways for me um, there's also some sort of imbalance. This alignment, this shift is going to balance things out. I feel like you're going to be balanced out emotionally. Um, whatever you have been wanting. I, I don't know. I just feel like someone's going to give something to you. Whatever it is they're giving to you or they're just, someone's just doing something to be nice. Um... Hmm. Or you might return the affection just to be nice. 
uh, because you feel sorry for someone or you feel like it's the right thing to do. Like your heart isn't into something. Uh, there may be someone in your life and your heart's not really into them. And I don't know if you're just doing that to get back at someone, like to make someone jealous. And so you're involving yourself in someone that you're not truly interested in and just have to be careful with that because it could come back around. Um, so if you're not really interested in someone, I would say just to let them know or to be honest with them. Um, now, this also could be happening to you. Uh, there is some sort of confusion. Um, I don't know. Your judgment gets cloudy about something like all of a sudden there you have too many options. There's too many things that you want to do. There's um, you don't know what direction to take. You're like. Do I want to talk to this person? What do I love about this person? Do I still care for this person? I feel like you're just questioning a lot of things about your passions. And some of you are thinking about having some sort of affair, like you're being tempted to step outside the relationship. If you're in a relationship, someone's trying to ask you, like someone asked you out and you're considering it for some reason. And I can only figure because it's something that your partner is lacking that you're not telling them. And it's something that needs to be this discussed um, instead of going behind their back. And whatever it is that you are trying to figure out. And then you've got like three sevens here. Um, so there's definitely some something divine. And then with the will, that's divine. This is like um you know you can't stop the the fate of the will it's just is is destiny and it's coming um but i i just kind of feel like you're uh trying to take a step back something threw you off guard like whatever this surprise is um or whoever comes into your life unexpectedly is like i don't want to say they threw a monkey in a wrench but it's like maybe you had your mind set on something or you thought you finally figured something out and then this person comes along and throws everything off and now you're back into clouded mode and, and illusion. And some of you are trying to figure out if someone is being nice to you because they really want to be with you or is it real? Something you're trying to figure out if something is real or not. Is this real or is it fake? Something that you're really concerned about. And I feel like you're going to spend a lot of time trying to figure that out. Uh, some of you might just like let all of it go and just put it into your work. Like for those of you that are artists or creative types, I feel like you're going to take all of this energy and put it into your work, whether you're writing or painting or something or singing more so writing or painting. No, um, also writing something into your journal, you're um, documenting your life. Uh, you may be writing a memoir, memoir um, um, about past affairs, past loves that you've had in your life. I feel like it's been in the back of your mind. I feel like you've really been analyzing things and it's been causing you to study. Um, someone's going to ask you for some sort of favor. And I feel like you're going to do it because that's you. You just feel like you have to do it. You have to be nice. You have to be right. You want to be fair because that that's just the way the Libra thinks. And also with these uh, sevens here, you know, Libra is the seventh sign. Um, so there's something definitely going on um, in our lives that is very uh, uh, spiritual here. Uh, those of you that are single, like I said, I, just, I feel like someone is going to return into your life. Whether or not it blossoms into a relationship, I'm not sure. I feel like there's too many other things that need to be worked out. Like I said, just uh, there's going to be confrontation is what I'm seeing. Uh, disputes, being forced to discuss things that aren't comfortable. Um, and then two... Um, those of you that are in relationships, I feel like someone is trying to get you to step outside of your relationship. Like normally you're a faithful person, 
but someone actually throws you off. There is someone that just kind of makes you like, I'm not the type that usually would cheat or flirt, but something about this person uh, just kind of threw you off guard. Not saying that you're going to cheat on your spouse, but I feel like you're thinking about it. You're considering it. Um, and only because there's something lacking in your relationship, something that or if it's not lacking in your relationship, it's because you're considering it because you want revenge for something that happened in the past. Uh, again, this could be some sort of outlook that your partner has on you. Um, and this has been something that you're going to be dealing with, I feel like, on an everyday basis. Um, I feel like you're trying to iron out the kinks. Um, you're taking your time to figure something out. You want to get something right. There's something that you're becoming very skilled at and that might be skilled at catching a liar uh, or, you know, it's just something that you're developing and coming to some sort of understanding about yourself and your worth and your talents. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at... Um, the card here, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. So, I feel like this is saying that it's almost to me, codependency is like the devil card, which does mean that there is someone that's either attached to you that's preventing you from moving forward with what you really want. Or this is what's happening to the person that you're interested in. They could be in some sort of codependent relationship or suffering from some sort of addiction uh, or codependency. Um, or whatever, you know, is if you're in an established relationship, then it, there is something holding you guys back that the jealousy, the envy, the fights are coming from some sort of um, addiction. Maybe someone is smothering you um, and it, especially some of you are dealing with the Leo, I feel like because this lion is peeking up right here and he's just like reaching up he's at, like at the foot of her and she's just kind of daydreaming and wondering what how can she get away? How can she do this if this person won't let her go? For many of you, I feel like this, although it says codependency, I just, I feel like it has to do with someone smothering you or smothering um, the relationship. There's something being smothered. Um, I really feel like almost this is like a sevens card too because I feel like you're sitting and you're reflecting. Usually the sevens are about uh, reflection and trying to, um, you know, analyze and assess things and figure out what is happening, what's going on. But at the same time, I feel like there's this sense, of, a little sense of hopelessness, um, feeling like, what am I going to do? Um... How can I fix this? How, when is this going to be over? I feel like you're just asking a lot of questions. But the sun is coming out, um, or rather this could be going down. Um, so there is light, there's truth here. Um, and there is um, the opportunity to resolve whatever issues are happening. But I just feel like right now you're just kind of uh, a little lost, some of you. Um, which is another reason why you might be stepping out like a fool because you don't know what else to do. Um, probably because of a lot of past disappointments and you're just like, I don't, whatever. I'm just doing, I'm just here until I get it right, you know? So uh, I hope this has helped. Um, 
Remember, these are general readings, uh, but for a private reading, you can email me. Again, that's namat76 at gmail.com. Just click on that description box, and it should open up and, and show you my email address. Make sure you guys are emailing me directly uh, because I don't know if other people are uploading these videos to different sites, and I don't have a website, so I don't know if people are clicking on links that they think is to me. But just make sure that you're emailing me directly uh, to book your reading and to get uh, pricing, okay? Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, please continue to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you all.